everyone, it's Sarah, and welcome to my crochet channel. Today's video is step number three in our winter crochet along, and we're making a Christmas puppy, or you can make it into a kitty cat if you want to. In step number one, I gave you all the information that you needed and all the materials that you needed for our crochet along. In step number two, we made the head and the body of our Christmas pet. Today, in step number three, we're going to make the paws. And we'll be making four paws, two for the arms and two for the legs. And I only have three sitting here because I've gone ahead and made three of them. I'm going to show you how to make one and then you can make all four exactly the same. And then I'll also show you how to sew them onto your Christmas pet. If you're looking for the pattern or the pattern link, you can find the complete pattern in the link that's down in the notes underneath the video. Each day as we're filming the steps, we're adding them to the blog. So when you go to the blog and you're looking for today's pictures and notes, you'll need to refresh that page. And what that means is that little arrow that goes in a circle that's up on the top, just hit that and that will refresh the page and that way you won't miss out on any notes and pictures that we've added. What you're going to need for step three to make the pause is the same yarn that you're using for your puppy or kitty of course and you're going to need some worsted weight number four yarn in order to make the details on the ends of the paws so it looks like puppy or kitty paws you're going to need your larger needle just to weave in your ends and then you'll need your smaller needle to stitch on those paw marks You'll need a stitch marker because again, we're going to be stitching in the round on our paws. And we'll be stitching with that J hook, 6.0 millimeter crochet hook. Cause again, we want our stitches nice and tight so our stuffing doesn't show through. And of course you'll need some stuffing to stuff those paws. We're going to begin our paws the same way we began the top of the puppy head. I have my stitch marker already. We're going to start with that slip knot and then we're going to chain three. One, two, three. We're going to stitch six single crochets and the second chain from the hook. There's three four, five, and six. We're going to join with a slip stitch and chain one, and that is row one. The next thing we need to do is make sure there isn't a hole in the center of our paw. So we'll take our needle, we'll thread that tail of yarn on there, and we'll just stitch around that. It's going to have to be weaved in anyway, so we might as well take care of it right now. Whoops, get back on there. There we go. All right, I'm just going to make a stitch the other direction to make sure that's going to hold. There we go. And we can go ahead and cut that off. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to mark with our stitch marker the last single crochet stitch. There we go. Now, what we're going to do for row two is we're going to place two single crochets in each of those six. So we'll go in one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll remove that stitch marker. Eleven and twelve. Now we'll put our stitch marker back in to mark our last stitch. We're not going to join. We're going to start here doing continuous rounds. And what that means is we just start in the next single crochet and stitch row three. Row one had six, row two had 12 single crochets. So we'll go right to that first single crochet and stitch one single crochet. Then the next single crochet will stitch two. So that's one and two. One single crochet in the next and two in the next. One and two. One and two, one, oops, two, one, and two, one, and then there's our stitch marker. We'll pull that out and stitch our last two stitches, one and two. Then we'll mark that last stitch with our stitch marker. So for row three, we have 18 single crochets, six, 12, and 18. Now for row four, we're going to stitch one single crochet in each of those 18 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we'll continue this all the way around back to our stitch marker. One single crochet in each of those 18 single crochets. I have completed row four. I stitched one single crochet in each of those 18 stitches and then I moved my stitch marker. And what we're going to do is we're going to continue to repeat row four for 14 more rows to make our paw. We'll continue to stitch one single crochet in each of the single crochets around and we'll repeat that for 14 more rows. I repeated row four for 14 more rows, which gives me a total of 18 rows. Take out my stitch marker. All right, so the next thing we need to do is stuff our paw. So I'm going to, I'm gonna make that loop a little bit bigger so it doesn't come out. And then we can stuff it. And it's real important that you make sure that you get that stuffing right up in that paw because we're going to be making some stitches through there to make it look like a real paw. All right, maybe a little bit more. All righty, so now I stuffed my paw. I'm going to make sure that my end is on the side. And now we're going to slip stitch it together the same way we did the bottom of our body of our puppy. So we'll go in, pull up a loop, pull that loop through the loop on the hook. And we'll stitch this across, closing up the end of our paw. There we go. And we'll just stitch this across. We're going to tie off, but we need to leave ourselves some yarn so we can sew this onto our puppy. I always like to make that extra little stitch in the end just to make sure that end is closed, and then I'll tie that off. 
All right, so there's our little paw. But now it needs some of those little markings to make it look like a paw. All right, I have threaded on a piece of yarn that I'm using for my paws. This is a worsted weight number four black. And so what we're gonna do, first decide which is your front and which is your back. This is going to be my front, so I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to go through a stitch and make a loop. I'm going to leave a little bit of my yarn here and I'm going to go right back in and come through the front. I'm going to drape this over and I'm going to go over just a little bit and come up through the center. Try to keep it even. There we go. Give it a little bit of a pull. This one goes over the top. And we'll turn it over. And we'll go through a little bit over and try to keep this one even. Give it a little bit of a pull so it stays put. And then we'll bring this one over. All right, now we're gonna make another little bit of a stitch and then we're gonna go right over here to where we started. Now we're not going through the front and you may need to pull those out just a little so they're noticed. All right, then all you do is just tie a couple of knots on the back so it doesn't come undone. And I like to tie three. There we go. And now I have one paw and I need to make three more. You're going to make two for the arms and two for the legs, all exactly the same. So you need to make four of these, four paws. I have already sewn on one of the arms and one of the legs, so you can see how they're going to work. All right, let's sew on the second leg. And what you do is you use half and half of the amount we want the leg to be here, so we're going to push it forward. We're going to thread that onto our needle. And I'm going to turn it this way because we want to make sure that everything lines up. So we'll start here on the edge, and I'm using that tail of yarn, and we're just going to stitch what's called whip stitches. You just stitch around and you want to make sure that you go through the leg and the body and we want to make sure that it meets up here. All right, you'll have to push on it. There's all that stuffing in there. And we'll just, what I do is I whip stitch across. Want that to meet there in the middle. And this first row of stitches across is a little farther apart than what I'll do on the way back, okay? So I've made sure everything meets up. I'm going to put another stitch in there. And now I'm just going to go back across. And I'm putting my stitches just a little bit closer together so everything stays put. We don't want our baby doll, our little puppy or kitty, to fall apart when whoever we give this to is playing with it, or even if we play with it ourselves. <laughs> Alrighty, so I'm just gonna go back across to the place where we started. Make sure that end is nice and sturdy. And then I'll just weave back in. And you can do this as many times as you want to until you're comfortable that that leg is going to stay in place. And it's always better to have too much yarn than not enough. All right, let's cut that off. And now my little 
Christmas puppy has two legs. The arm is sewn on in a similar fashion. It's just we don't have that edge to sew to. So what we're going to do, we want it to sit lined up on the side. We're going to put it right in the neck and we're going to push it up towards the head. And we want to line it up even with the side of our body of our stuffed baby. And we're going to stitch right around. See where that line is where we gathered the neck? We want to stitch over that and just make whip stitches. And again, I'm going to go across, making my stitches a little farther apart. And that just helps me place it. We do have the, lo the row of stitches on the arm to sew on, just not on the body. All right, so I'm stitching across. I'm kind of doing some quick whip stitches here. Making sure everything is lined up. There we go. Take a look at it. See how it lays nice and pretty. And don't worry about this edge. We're going to put a collar on our puppy. And so it, it's going to cover that up just nicely. All right, so now I'm just going to go back over, making sure that arm is going to stay in place. And you're going to give it a good look over, make sure it's where you want it. Some people like them a little closer to the front. Some like them on the side. I kind of like mine to go right down on the side of the animal. All righty, I want to make sure I get that edge in there. And then I'm just going to weave that in, making sure that's going to hold nice and secure. Now, if you're using a yarn that is not real strong, you can always go back over this with a matching thread or even a matching yarn if you're afraid that the yarn that you're using, like if you're using one of those velvet yarns or something, if it's not strong enough, you can also find a matching yarn and stitch it on with that, okay? And so now we have completed step number three, which is the arms and the legs of our puppy. And I really like this style because you can set it up and make it actually look like a puppy as well. I guess you can't see that. Let me show you. You can see that it's just a basic baby doll pattern as well, except for it has paws. All right, now in step number four, we're going to be making the ears. We're going to make the snout and the eyes, and then also add a tail. Thank you. 